guys, winter is here. Welcome back to Commonwealth Revolution. I am Scott and this is Nacho Cast. In our last episode, we walked through updates of our Starlight and Sanctuary builds, including a first look at our Sanctuary hydroelectric plant. In this episode, we'll be heading back to the castle to see how the Minutemen are coming along. We're going to take the northern route around Boston this time. Preston wants us to see if we can help a couple of settlements along the way. But, as you can see, I have quite a few mods to introduce before we leave. Let's start with our new companions who have just arrived from the Mojave. To my left is Ash. She was a bounty hunter in New Vegas and just over my shoulder is Captain Jack, also a retired vet. He served with Jet, Boone, and I in the NCR. Now I created these characters using Construct a Custom Companion by Corel 2015. What makes them unique is their armor. Ash is wearing the Cross Mojave Manhunter armor by Nero, and Captain Jack is wearing Jack's Desert Ranger combat armor. Now let's get into the environmental mods that I'm using to create this winter landscape. I've downloaded Ice Pick Overhaul by Spiffy Skytrooper, Winter Commonwealth Pines by Flecked, Vivid Waters by Manga Club, as well as Vivid Weather's Definitive Edition, which includes Far Harbor, Nuka World, and the Winter Add-ons. Also, No Snow Under Roof Patch, which just like it sounds, keeps the snow out of interiors, more or less. And for the sake of immersion, I've downloaded Project Reality Footsteps Snow Edition by Hulk Hoden. So to get all this to work, I've disabled True Storms and its extensions, which in my case includes True Storms Far Harbor and Rad Storms Disabled. I've also disabled True Grass, Commonwealth Conifers, and Clean Water. To be clear, I've only disabled them, not deleted them. I plan on getting back to them before I end this series, so I'm just going to keep them in there but not active. All right, we're on our way back to the castle and we have not explored the Northeast Passage around Boston yet. So let's see what kind of trouble we can run into along the way. Great job on the footsteps, Hulkmeister. It really does sound like the crunching of snow under my boots. Looks like we've got a compound or something here. The turrets aren't gunning us down, so I'm assuming it's peaceful. You hear, you hear visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. I might take a look. It ain't that simple. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me. What's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? Your town, your rules. You want to take the test? Pass it, and I'll let you in. I guess. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I'd grab a pipe and knock him out. A pipe, you say? Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads? Hmm, amputation. Next question. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I'd pick the boy's pocket to take the stolen property for myself and leave him to his fate. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Designated hitter. 
Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? <laughs> I'd ask for a minigun so I can do the job right. Please treat the question seriously. Or are you? Next. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd trade for a cherry bomb and blow it open. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh, no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I'd get a gun and shoot myself. Near total absence. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Slip some knockout drops in his new Coca-Cola. <laughs> then take it. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... I'd replace his blood pressure medicine with sugar pills. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. <laughs> he said there were no wrong answers, so... Welcome to Covenant. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Okay, so without dragging you guys through it, people have gone missing, there's a mystery to solve, and it ends with a moral decision, after which the settlement is yours. Here's a quick look at the settlement and its build area. Not gonna lie, it kinda feels weird to see it like this. It feels a lot bigger inside than four little houses. Nothing really special about the geography, but it'll definitely be fun building a town here with all this flat land. Keep in mind, I am using the mod Build High. This is not the vanilla build area. So we'll get back to this, but in the meantime, we have a mission to follow through with. Let's head out. Okay, I came across a suit of power armor here. I don't often wear it, but I do like Sweet. to collect it. Similar to legendary items, maybe I'll have a museum someday where I can just display this stuff. Hold on, we have to get the right angle. Does my helmet look okay? Uh, how's that? One second, Scott. This is a nice area. Kind of boring though. We know, but the producers want to capture this for whatever reason. Turn a little to your left. O okay, good. Hold it there. Is that better? Boone, can you get out of the shop, please? In three, two, one. Okay, guys, we've stumbled across this house and all we had to do was kill off some ghouls. Not a big deal. 
It's now a settlement. You may be wondering, just how big is this? Well, let's take a look. I don't remember what the vanilla build area was, but build high seems to only add the road and the river to it. So maybe I'll just put a hotel and a bar here for people traveling and whatnot. I don't know. We'll get back to it at another time. It looks like we've come across a super mutant settlement. You know what? Why not? West Everett Estates. Bye-bye. Hammer. Super Mutant's name is Hammer. My buddy had a girlfriend whose last name was Hammer. I told him, you know, if you ever get married, you're going to have to take her name, right? <laughs> she agreed. was fun, but we have work to do and a lot of ground to cover, so let's get back to it. Yes, country crossing. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. This is where we are going to build our northeast hub. Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Super cool that one of my crew just yelled grenade. I don't know who it was, but I don't think I've ever heard that before. Peekaboo!
Protectron on duty. Something's out there. Yo, psst. Find him. I use a mod called Move, Get Out of the Way, by MM137. It's kind of essential with this many followers, but I'd use it even if I only had one. Damn it! Where'd you go? Activating this Protectron will draw attention away from me and my crew. Nice. For your safety, do not lean against doors. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Bango. Let's do this. Okay, let's head back to Country Crossing and let them know the good news. I took care of those raiders for you. 
Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Oh, by the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. And with that, let's have a look at our build area, shall we? It's not easy to see here because of the snow cover, but this is going to be a great location for Mr. Floaty's road mod. A lot of the area's roads connect here, which is why I want to make it a hub. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I actually intended to get as far as Finch Farm, but it took longer than I thought it would, and we're out of time. Regardless, we have a next covenant, liberated country crossing, and wiped out a super mutant settlement. Speaking of which, if you like building in Sanctuary and use the Conquest mod, West Everett Estates should be on your radar. Anyway, please like and subscribe and stuff. It really helps the channel. I appreciate y'all joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode as we continue our journey towards the castle. Peace!